Hey, welcome to Digital Theologian. I'm Michael Hoff, a PhD theology student, and today we're going to be exploring John 3.16, one of the most famous passages in all of the Bible. We've got a bit of a winter storm going on here, so if you hear some chimes, just go ahead and hit like. Let's dive in. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. To set the scene, Nicodemus, a prominent religious teacher, comes to Jesus asking questions in the night. Behind closed doors, he acknowledges that Jesus is a teacher come from God. The miraculous signs that he has done make it clear. They point to Jesus having been sent from God and having his favor. But honestly, the message of God's kingdom of love and forgiveness is too scandalous for the Pharisees to accept in the light of day. A conversation with Jesus on the nature of God's kingdom has Nicodemus wondering what it means to be born from above. Then Jesus reminds him of Israel's past, of Moses leading the Israelites to freedom in the desert, of God's judgment coming on them in a moment, and Moses lifting up a sign on a stake that brought life to all who looked on it. Now, Nicodemus didn't need this history lesson, he knew it well, but Jesus was connecting himself to the sign and reminding Nicodemus that Moses had promised that God would give another prophet like him. Then, while Nicodemus's mind was reeling with this revelation, Jesus went on to say, He was the Son of Man, the Messiah sent from God, and he followed it up with this, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. God is love, and out of that love he is given of himself. He has demonstrated his love for us through sending Jesus, not to condemn us, but to bring us to freedom. Salvation is found in looking to Jesus as he has been lifted up. Hope in him when all else fails. He is the Savior of the world. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind, share it with somebody that you think might be encouraged. If there's somebody that needs to hear a message of God's goodness and forgiveness, give them a text. Send a link, let them know God loves them and he's for them. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.